the order today we are in discussion with mr atsushi ogata managing director president and ceo of country's second largest two wheeler maker honda motorcycle and scooters india welcome to ed auto sir yeah, uh, yes namaste. namaste sir so we have seen are you launching the new uh, the honda smart technology in yes. india today so you have started with your top selling uh, model you know the activa scooter yes. so could you like give us a just like when can we see this technology coming up across your portfolio in india Yes, yeah, thank you for your question. So the, today, uh, we are proudly to announce the first uh, case of the smart key with uh, the, uh, the fast moving best selling model Activa 110. But of course, uh, the gradually we will launch uh, the another mo product portfolio uh, in line with the OBD2 norm uh, from now on. So the, uh, all of our scooter uh, model lineup, uh, product portfolio, uh, beside the Activa also DO series. So it could have the smart key system, so then the gradually uh, ramp up our production. The, before the till end of uh, June, all of sco our scooter portfolio will have the same technology. Yeah. How much investment has gone into bringing up this technology, you know, across the vehicle portfolio? Uh, you mean about uh, investment? So basically, uh, investment in the, our the development side in Japan, so including uh, all of the development costs. So therefore, I cannot say individually only for the Indian market. Because of smart key system uh, with the new suppliers in India, so they have some investment. But uh, this technology is not only India, but ASEAN market and uh, advanced countries. So therefore, uh, global investment, I don't know. But anyway, some investment there, additional Indian market. Uh, also, like, what is the investment lineup for this year? Probably like uh, calendar year 2023? Uh, yes, because the first priority to apply with the OBD2 norm because of government direction, the we all of uh, the relevant components could apply with the uh, biofuel technology. So then, the, also additionally, uh, we are going to the uh, the connectivity on the not only scooter but also motorcycle. Now they undergoing. Also, they need to prepare the first launching model of EV technology. So. Such kind of uh, model pot product portfolio uh, will be seen within next financial year. Also, as you mentioned about the OBD2 norms, you know, uh, so how much is the price increase across the portfolio or per model that the customers can expect probably from your scooters on motorcycles as well? Yeah, OBD2 norm, so they apply with OBD2, uh, the model by model, the cost up is different, but to avoid any confusion in the market, so we decided this the certain only one price up on the, all, all of product portfolio. So I set on the stage, so the around uh, 1,170 rupee like that, at each on the all, all of OBD2 model. Yeah. Also, we see the uh, you know the industry moving towards electrification. So how is your journey towards electrification defined in India? Yeah, of course. Uh, today you could not see the, the actual EV Activa. But uh, we are saying the project name is a Futuristic Activa, not only EV technology, but also the sustainable uh, material, uh, the, the, uh, the connectivity, all of the things uh, should be inside of Futuristic Activa. Now undergoing, so the next weekend, uh, I'm going to Japan to make some discussion with actual uh, uh, prototype in Japan. So you will see uh, in, in near future uh, actual uh, future activa on the stage. The first electric product, is it going to be a new product altogether or uh, the existing new product? New product. But first model, maybe to utilize the existing model, the just we are saying a combat EV to apply uh, the motor and the battery instead of engine. But a second model, the futuristic activa is said, competing new technology, a new, new uh, platform will be calm design also as well yeah. also as we see the economy getting better and you know uh, the covid uh, situation and yeah. you know other things hopefully. getting better yes yeah. hopefully yeah. so how do you see the two wheeler industry in india for this uh, uh, calendar year probably yeah surely coming up so the my expectation is more than 10 percent uh, compared uh, last financial year surely okay. uh, what kind of headwinds and tailwinds can we expect from the industry you know uh, still a uh, very higher uh, gasoline price also, the even the GST percentage is all the heavy heavy duty for us, especially for the rural market, because they do not have 
uh, the enough uh, financial background. So therefore, we will make announcement uh, sooner or later uh, to introduce a uh, low-end motorcycle with a very, very comfortable price in front of rural market customers. So then this kind of uh, our new launching product, surely I have uh, confidence to raise up their uh, motivation to, to enter again to purchase new our uh, product. Additional. Just to just to confirm the timeline, uh, can we see this product in the commuter segment this uh, quarter? The low end motorcycle, the the motorcycle uh, 100cc segment is a very very attractive price. Uh, we will make announcement uh, mid of March, and the launching time is uh, within April. Yeah. Just one last question, sir. Uh, when do you see the two wheeler industry probably reaching its peak? Uh, you know, in which year probably? What are your expectations regarding that? Maybe it take uh, near to five years, okay. near to five years. But uh, depends on the, of course, inflation or GDP or uh, EV, uh, the market industries are kind of. But uh, I, I think, uh, yeah, need take uh, five years. All right, all right. Thank you so much, yeah. sir. Thank you so Thank much you. for talking to ET Order. Yeah. Thank you.